Uh, my name is Doug Williams. I'm with Solomon Associates out of Dallas, Texas. Some of you may have heard of me, of our firm. I think several of our clients are here. Basically, we are into benchmarking and strategic level gap analysis. Uh, while we don't practice taproot within our own system, we have observed it in operation in some of our clients. And one of the best practices that we tend to look for is number one is that we t uh, have seen awareness level training of people down to the at least the planner level, maintenance planner in, the, uh, in your maintenance organizations, pr primarily because we feel that, that the planner is more related to the reliability function than they are to the actual maintenance function. The second thing that we also find is that the best practice for the implementation of Taproot that we have seen is that it is all proceduralized. The uh, training of Taproot is, is very prevalent within the organization and they have a specific procedure where the events are actually identified by category and the, uh, the person who leads the investigation is outside of the hierarchical organization where the event occurred. For instance, if you have an equipment failure that might be, um, might be stewarded by someone from the uh, safety organization. If it's a safety event, it might be from the planning and optimization organization. And the actual steward of that particular org uh, analysis is done by someone of a particular, somewhere in the hierarchy depending on the level of uh, criticality to the event.